Hi guys, welcome to another uh, Marvel Universe figure review, Darth CJ Reviews here. And we're going to be looking at a very cool one. Uh, this is the figure I've wanted the most from the entire line of Marvel Universe, and it is World of War Hulk. An awesome looking figure. Um, again, like I said, one of the ones I wanted the most. Um, and I actually saw it in my comic book shop a couple times, and then when I went to actually go get it, he wasn't there. But Rabbit Hammer was so nice to hook me up with this guy, so thanks so much. And uh, now we're going to get into the review here. So uh, this is World War Hulk in the packaging. Let's take a look at this guy. He is very cool. Um, he's very heavy, too. He's a very heavy. He has a really big... Uh, plastic as you can see compared to normal figures he is gigantic um, you get a really nice image here of World War Hulk Marvel Universe ages 4 plus World War Hulk figure stand included he's from series 3 number 3 you got a picture of the figure you got the bio which I'll read in a minute and you got the other the other figures in the way which is Iron Man, Spider-Man 2099, and Spider-Woman. And you got Steve Rogers telling you to collect them all. Anyways, let's read the bio. So, again, like I know who Hulk is and everything. I don't really know a whole lot about World War Hulk. I know what I, I did look up what stuff on the character. I do plan to read the comics eventually, but I don't know a ton. But anyways, I basically got this guy just because or wanted to get this guy because he just looks so cool and too cool to pass up. But anyways, betrayed by those he once called allies and devastated by the destruction of a planet he call, come to call home, the Hulk has returned to seek revenge. His massive stone starship hovers above the streets of Manhattan and his alien army has turned Midtown into prison camp for the heroes of Earth. He will never descend to the level of those who betrayed him, but he intends to teach them a lesson they will never forget. That's epic. This guy looks so cool in the packaging, I almost don't even want to open him, but he also looks so cool that I have to open him. So I'm going to get this guy opened up, and we're going to take a look at this awesome figure. Alright guys, here is World War Hulk, and he is one awesome figure. Um, first off, he does come with the figure stand, the Marvel Hulk. It only says Hulk, it doesn't say World War Hulk, but it's a uh, number three. And to be honest, this figure really doesn't need the stand, because he has big feet, flat feet, he doesn't really need it, but he does come with that. Let's take a look at this figure because he is just outstanding. Does suffer from a few minor problems, but I can get past that. So as you can see, here is his head sculpt, which is a really nice head sculpt. I really like this head sculpt. He has like some sort of like coronet thing he's wearing around his head. Hair is very nicely sculpted. And the head's just in this really nice grimace kind of expression. Looks really cool. He has like these little M emblems around here. He has one there. He also has one on his bell buckle. The armor is really nice ideal. He got like these little spikes and this huge just shoulder pauldron. And this armor going all the way down the arm. As well as uh, this gauntlet here, which is really nice. You got the bandolier and all these straps on him, which is a little bit loose, I am going to say. But it doesn't bother me too much. It is removable, which I think I'll show. He has a sheath for his sword. As you can see, his little strap, his little strap there on his wrist. And the texture on the body is just excellent. There's the abs and everything, just but just the scratches and the veins and all of this texture of the figure is just really good you got like the little loincloth thing with some studs on it and some really nice rip detail and you got like these little leg straps and his like sandals which is really cool and he has feet there and peg holes of course really good looking figure I mean I'm just outstanding I'm just so happy I was able to um, to get this guy thanks to Rabbit Hammer. I'm just so lost for words that he actually gave this to me. But it is a really cool figure. Um, as articulation goes, he has a ball joint in the neck. He might actually have two joints there. 
looks like two joints. I'm not entirely sure though. His ball hinge, shoulder, swivel in the bicep. Uh, yeah, just the hinged at the elbow. Swivel at the wrist, ball hinge, upper torso with a swivel at the um, waist. His ball hinge, hips, swivel at the bicep. Um, double hinge knees and ball hinge ankles. So really good articulation. As for accessories, he comes with first off the shield. Very nice. He got a bunch of scratches on it and these studs here. And the studs on the side as well. Underneath even that was some nice wood detail. And then he got the clamp here that clamps onto his arm. Really cool. Comes with an axe. Battle axe. Pretty simple, but really cool. Again, you got the two blades here, which has some nice scratches and details on it. And then you got the handle there, which is nicely sculpted in detail too. The only problem with the weapons is that the grips are very thin, and Hulk can hold the weapons, but he holds them very loosely, and it's, it's hard to get him into some really cool poses with the weapons because they're so loose and just kind of like to slip right down and such, but still... Really cool. Um, as I said, the bandolier is removable. All you gotta do is pretty much raise over his head. You can take it off, as you can see. And then there's the armor. Like I said, he has a sheath, which is very nicely detailed. And it does hold his sword, which holds it very nicely. The sheath does. Like I said, the, the handle, when nicely sculpted, could have been sculpted bigger, so Hulk could actually hold it very nicely. It's still very cool. He got a nice little handle here. The blade is very nicely detailed. All these scratches and indents in it. So very cool. Very cool sword. Let's see if I can get him to hold it. Uh, like, I mean, you can get poses. He just holds it very loosely, like I say. <laughs> it's still a very cool figure. Like, I'm not, not going to complain too much. It's a very well done figure. Um... There's the muscle on the back, just without there. The uh, loincloth piece is actually uh, just a, a separate piece, too. It kind of flops around a little bit. It doesn't come off, as far as I know. I don't really know why you'd want to take it off, but... Just take a closer look at the torso. It looks really good. So, anyways, that is my review of the Marvel Universe World War Hulk. An excellent figure. I definitely recommend you pick this guy up. He's just too cool. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review, and I will see you all in the next video.